guys! This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new um, completion and review video. As you can see, it's this beautiful poppies. Let's take a very quick, closer look. I want to show you how shiny this is. This is by far the prettiest, shiniest uh, drilled diamond painting I have ever done. Isn't that incredible? Look at the sheen on that thing. These, this was a joy to do. It was just absolutely stunning. So anyway, let me put it back for a minute while I tell you where it came from. So I got to grab my book. So I've got my book here. And this is called Poppy Pose, and it is by Diamond Dots with a Z. And I got this at Michael's in the Sioux in my hometown. And this is a... 29 by 0.94 by 35.35 centimeter or 11 by 14. Uh, the fabric size was 14 by 17, so it was much bigger than a normal one, a normal 30 by 40. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me see if I can grab a normal 30 by 40 to show you the comparison. So this is one that I've reviewed on the channel by Fan Cells that I did while I was at the cottage. And if I put it up here like this you can see this is a few inches bigger so I guess that's what people mean when they measure the 30 by 40 whether it's a true 30 by 40 so I guess this is a true 30 by 40 and this one would have been the canvas size itself was the 30 by 40 but the picture was smaller so there's quite a bit of a difference here there's like a few inches on one end so um this is the size I'm used to doing and this is a, a much bigger, well, not a much bigger, but a few inch bigger size. And it did make a difference. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna keep my pencils one out just for comparison for a minute. Now, I started this August the 7th, and then I went on vacation, and then I finished this the other day, and I forgot to write it down. So uh, today, while I'm recording this, it is the 17th of August. So I am finished this on the 14th of August. Let me just write that in. So I finished this on the 14th of August. So it took me a very long time because I didn't want to bring it to the cottage with me because it was almost done. When I left to go to camp, I just had... Um, I don't even remember what... I think it was just like a little bit over here. I just had like a little wee bit left to finish. So I didn't want to bring up an almost finished painting out to camp and just have all that extras with me. So this was really, really nice to do. This had 30 colors. And I used one of my newer containers to do it in. And I really enjoyed using my new storage box to do it in. And I do have a lot of extras, so I should go find them for you. Hang on. So I used this Tic Tac container. The storage box to do these because this has 34 slots and um, these are nice and big they hold a lot of diamonds and um, as you can see here's number 30 it was um, an AB drill so this did have some ABs in it which was really nice I think there were three ABs hang on 30 was an AB 29 was an AB yellow Maybe only two ABs then. Anyway, I don't know how Diamond Dots does it. And these are really hard to get back in, by the way. But I did enjoy using this case. Let me show you this. So, I don't know which ones were ABs. I get... There's some numbers down the side. 5001, 5005. So, I don't know how Diamond Dots tells you what is AB and what's not. But there were some ABs. It was really fun to do. Um, you can see some of the yellow ABs right in the middle of the flower here. And I don't know if I can find the white ABs where they are. But the yellow ones really do stand out because they're right in the middle of some of the flowers. But there are some white ABs in here as well. It's just a matter of finding them. I think they might be out on the, on the top here. But everything in this painting was super sparkly. 
not just the ABs. This is the most shimmery, sparky, sparkly diamond painting I've ever done. Um, someone told me online that once I drew a diamond dots, I will be so happy with the drills. And I am. I am super happy with the drills. The drills are gorgeous. What I wasn't happy with, and as a con, is there were some spots on here where there was no glue. Um, and also, when I work with something like fan cells, if I put down a dot and it's not in the right place, it's easy to take the pen and just kind of squish it into place and it stays. It was very hard to do that here. So if I misplaced a dot, it was really, really hard to put it back in place because the places where there were glue, the glue was really, really like tough. But th then there were places where there was no glue at all. So it was really um, difficult and very hard to replace the misplaced dots. That was my number one con for this. And it wasn't like a big con, okay? But the, the places without glue, that was a pretty big con. And uh, there were some symbols around some circles. And the other thing is the way things are spaced. I have gaps in here that I don't get with any of my other ones. Um, right here, you can see some gaps where it kind of went crooked. And I couldn't fix it, even though I tried. So it's not as nicely placed because I had trouble replacing them. Like if you look at my fan cells one really close up. There's no places really where there's any gaps. There's no places where it's super crooked. I have no trouble placing these dots. And the dots seem to fit together really nicely. Whereas here, it seemed like there was a little bit more room between the dots. Even if I placed everything um, around those training rings, like the circles where it tells you where to place them, if I placed like four dots right on the circles, there were still gaps. So... And I don't know why. See, they just don't fit together as nice as the cheaper one. But it makes up for it and how super sparkly they are. And this could be user error on my part that I'm just not used to the canvas for these. Um, I'm used to the canvases on the cheaper ones. So it could be totally my fault, you guys. But look how beautifully it turned out. But you can see like a whole row where they're not straight here, which really annoys me. And I am getting used to using the multi-placer. There was a lot of places where I used the multi-placer on this. But I also used the multi-placer everywhere on this. And I didn't have the issue. Um, so I don't know what happened. But it's gorgeous. By far the nicest, prettiest, shiniest drills I've ever used. I, I wish you could see like... It's really hard to show you. Can you see the, the sheen? So it's not just the glitter, but there's also a sheen. It just really super beautiful drills. Vibrant colors. So I'm really, really happy with that. Now, I have since ordered two more Diamond Dot um, kits, but they're not in yet. I ordered them from Mary Maxim. They were on sale. Unfortunately, they don't have the vibrant colors that these ones do, but I couldn't pass up the sale. And as soon as they come in, I will be doing an unboxing on my channel. And Michaels has some new Mary, um, some new diamond dots in, so I might go take a look at them maybe next week. But I have so many now, you guys, so many diamond paintings that I'm trying to cut down on how many I've ordered. Because um, I just order the ones that are super cheap. Like, I got to cut down on the more expensive ones. Because, like, this was on sale for $25, which is a good price for Diamond Dots. But for $25, I can buy five on fan cells. And, it, you know, and these are just a little bit bigger than the fan cell size. Like, here's the fan cell size. So for $5, I'm getting that much. And for 20 you know, for $25, I could have got five of these. So... I have to really love it before I do it, or it has to be on a really good sale before I'll order more. The drills are beautiful, but the budget fan sales drills are nice too. They just, they're sparkly, right? Nice and sparkly, but they don't really have that marvelous sheen that this one has. Can you see like what I mean by a sheen? Like it's just so shiny. The way the light just catches it and reflects from it. But the diamond dots from Fanzels are also very shimmery and they're very sparkly, but they don't have that sheen. And I don't know if I'm even explaining what I mean enough. 
But anyway, I did enjoy doing this. I think it's beautiful. Uh, flowers, poppies from Remembrance Day. We've had a lot of deaths in our family this year. And um, I just thought this was really nice for Remembrance. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you like it? If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments and let me know. And most importantly of all, um, thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now, guys.